I was and am the first person ever to get a doctorate in a field called modern Arabic literature, because even when I was an undergraduate at Oxford, and for some curious reason, which my fellow students couldn't understand, read Manfaluti and Moelhe and these people. It's like, why are you studying that stuff? Why aren't well, why you were, studying? Why were you? Because here's a secret. Uh, I grew up in the British system and I was designated a classical scholar at the age of 15, that being the old British system. Yeah. I got a scholarship to Oxford in classics, including all delightful things like Latin and Greek prose composition and verse composition, translating Byron into Greek iambics. You know, and it was in my first year at Oxford, my freshman year in February, I had what you might call this Damascus Road experience. I simply asked myself, why am I doing this? Yeah. And I didn't come up with an answer, nor did any of my tutors, other than the fact that you're studying classics at Oxford. I mean, the world's your oyster, et cetera, et cetera. And I said, I want to do something different. And it was Professor Beeston who said, who took out a map, showed me a map and said, look, here is Europe, Spain, France, Italy, Balkans, Greece. Now look at the south of here. Every single country speaks or studies or co operates in a single language. Surely there's got to be something to interest you there. And indeed, that's what triggered my interest I started Arabic without any previous knowledge or any background whatsoever. It was a total gamble, but it was when I went to Lebanon at the end of my second year to the Shemlan Arabic school, I arrived in Beirut to the shock. People on the street were speaking Arabic. I mean, they were speaking Arabic. Uh, 